This is the comp filter of Bitwig Studio. It's a visual comp filter with bipolar feedback and blend controls. And you have your usual controls here. You can change the resonating frequency here freely uh, from 20 hertz up to 3.5 kilohertz. You can also increase the feedback here. And this is the big difference to an Alpha's device where you have like um, a gain compensation. Here you don't. So um, you can overdo this. So make sure you have maybe a peak limiter at the end here or some clipping device. And there's also a mix knob here where, we, where you can blend in the dry signal if you want to. So how do you use it and why do we want to use it? Um, it's the next, this is probably the next question. So when we have here some kind of um, synth sound, maybe bring this out. So something like this, right? You can use the comp filter to bring in some kind of physicality to the sound. So it sounds like a real body or a real physical device you are playing, right? So you use the comp filter here and maybe use here something around 600 Hertz, a bit of resonance here or feedback. And you can hear the synth sound has some kind of metallic feel to it and um, sounds almost like an, a kalimba or something like this where you have metallic plugs on there and because the frequency doesn't change when you change the key it sounds almost like real static frequencies or formants of this device so it's a perfectly um it's a perfect device for physical modeling to bring in some physicality or some physical properties to a sound it almost sounds like a guitar so don't overdo this here yeah? So perfectly for that. Um, then you can also do something like um, using a noise, noise burst, and then use your just um, a high resonance or high high feedback setting. to create some sounds with it. And you probably want to map this here to a key, the frequency to key. And yes, you can add the key track here. Um, but I think this one here is kind of logarithmic. How you, uh, how you map basically the keys to the frequencies is not easy to do. So you need some kind of logarithmic conversion. Um, but you don't need to do that, actually. You can use the, the grid for that. So instead of using the comp divisor, you just use an FX grid. Inside FX grid, you search for the comp filter and just use that. Uh, because here you have already key tracking implemented, all you have to do is maybe double click here on the frequency so it matches C3 inside Bitwig Studio. You can increase here the frequency or the resonance. And then when you change keys, the frequency here changes with the key so you don't need to hassle around with adding a key track modulator to the comp device and the comp filter is called comp filter because of the structure um, you have these evenly evenly spaced out not just here in the frequency spectrum or response so that's why it's called comp filter <laughs> 